Hi everyone, it's Steve from Steve Small World back with you. And this week we're looking at a quick airbrush method, well mainly airbrush, for doing dungeon tile painting. These tiles are from Book of Knox, the resin cast. Um, they're from if you want to check out the website where they come from, it's www.shedgames.co.uk. Um, I'll chuck a link down in the description and hopefully get it right that it works. So let's go and crack on. Hey right, guys, got a tile, just a little box I've put here to spray in behind to get some spray paint, get some grey primer, these paints say they're thin but I prefer to just put a little drop of thin on the bottom first, work in some paint, right, I forgot to check the airbrush. Oops. Right, I'll just turn it on. That's good to me. So there we go. So we rinse our brush out, just get some get a bowl of water. That's fine. Right, next bit we do, we get some black. Oh, come on. Black. I'll thin this one a little bit. Start working on lines. The first thing we do is make sure we get a brain out. Okay, so check that. Let's get the powdery. Let's start off by giving it a light dust over the top. It's just to add some shadow, and then we start picking out the corners and against the walls where you get the shadows of the, in your dungeon. Then we start picking out the lines between the tiles where you've got all the cracks. As you can see, it doesn't have to be overly accurate, as you'll see in a minute. I'm going to go up just like that. So it's just literally work your way around and pick out squares so they stand out clear, and we'll tidy it up a bit later. Okay. So we have this one doesn't look like much at the moment. It's a black and grey rough grid. So we'll wash out the brush again. Just back flush it. All the wipe. Okay. So we got grey. This is game air, stonewall grey. Okay, good shake. Drop the thinner. It's a little bit too thin. Right. There you go. So now I can start hitting this with the main grey. Black out. They're starting to come through. Now I'm going to hit the squares with the grey. We sort of start in the middle. Work out, sort of blending the edges just a little bit. This way you can actually use the airbrush to the airbrush effect. You don't have to cover it all. You've already got a grey primer down. So you can get a variant shade. So you just work your way around to each tile or each square individually is the way I worked on this one. And give a slight overbrush to certain areas if it's too dark. But it's too flat at the moment. It just doesn't work for me. So we let this dry up and then we'll hit it with a wash. 
just to get some more colour into it. So I'll get this cleared up and we'll let this dry. Right, we're going to knock up a quick wash. I've just got a jar, a drop of water in the bottom. Use a drop of FW ink. This is the sepia. Yeah, come on. One, oop. When you want one drop, you get a square. Oh well. Lid on, get that a mix first. That's quite dark. That should be alright. I'm going to put a drip of vegetable glycerine in it. Come on. Hey, I got a drip that time. Right. Some isopropanol. Drop of that as well. Okay. Mix around. Grab a brush, let's have a look. Now we just whack over the tiles, just pulling it about this wash. It almost feels like mercury the way it sort of pulls around, but it works quite well for this. And just keep going and don't think about it really, just whack it on. There you go. Right, so I'm not completely happy. So what I've done is I've got a drip of the airbrush grey paint and added a little tiny bit of our wash into that. So I just whack around the tiles with a bit of grey paint, just usually against the edges, just blending out some of the black a little bit that's too heavy. Put in the wash about because it's still slightly wet at this time. Just make it blend up nicer. And there you go. Perhaps not. I think the OCD's kicked it at this point and I'm just picking on those tidiest bits. I could have probably walked away and left it, but you know what it's like as a terrain builder, you just keep picking. Here we have an overview of the dungeon tiles I've done so far. I've still got the actual physical doors to paint and put in. But it gives you an idea of this set. There's a couple of bonus tiles in here like the pentagram and the area where the wharf is, also the fountain, which you'll see in a minute. But as you can see, these are lovely resin cast tiles. And for a quick paint job, they look pretty good. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Right, there you have it. A very quick method of um, painting your tiles with an airbrush. Won't win any awards, but it gets it on the table. And sometimes you have to go, right, I want to get this done. I'll whack it on there. If I want to add more details to it, I'll do it later. But they still look pretty decent for quite a quick job. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, like, share, subscribe, get it out there. And hopefully next week I'll be back with you with something else. I'm working on some resin casting, which I hope to do a video on making moulds and actually cast in the future. So I will see you soon. I'm going to go and put the kettle on. Take care. Have a good week crafting. Cheers, everyone.